This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. And Avinash, uh, actually, I thought of ping you on Friday, but can you please ping me today after the class? I need Not your sir. Google. I need your Google Drive for videos. I, I send it to you, sir. Okay, to ping me one more time. Okay, maybe in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Do you have all the videos? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Till now you have uh, it. Till now I get. I downloaded the name. Line X, Line X, Docker, Kubernetes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Especially yes, I'm expecting this. Except okay, Kubernetes, good. I downloaded everything, sir. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So please make a topic wise. Line X separate, Docker separate. Like. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I did it, I sir. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. So guys, now let's talk about Kubernetes. So as I told in Kubernetes, we have one master and multiple worker node, n number of worker nodes, guys. Okay, but in Docker only one Docker. In Docker, how do you create the containers, guys? Docker run hyphen d eighty hyphen p eighty colon eighty. It's pretty pretty example. Okay, na? Example, this is how we'll create the container. So what is happening here? You are getting new container and you are doing port forwarding. The host can host port with container port. Right? So when customer hit the website, okay now this Docker host IP colon, the Docker host port number. It is direct, uh, first reaching to this server via port number enter into the server. Then it is reaching to Docker content. Port. That is how we are. There. But guys, in Docker, in Kubernetes, we don't create the container directly. Okay, now here we create the pods. Pod. Pod is nothing but a logical virtual machine again. And the actual logical unto Nandukani. Why I am calling it as a logical actually it does not exist. But logically, Kubernetes adding that layer to the container. Inside pod container will be there. Guys, a pod is nothing but logical virtual machine again okay vm only so in your worker node a pod will be created first in that pod container will be there okay now nah. so and here from master point of view to manage this pod we create the deployment we create one deployment Okay, now so to manage this pod, so let me show you the command how to create the Kubernetes. Uh, first of all, to check how many nodes available in Kubernetes, this is the command kubectl get nodes. It will show you how many nodes available, including master. Okay, now same command for any resource, guys. So check anything. Either na check chayal and get command. kubectl get nodes. kubectl get deployments. kubectl get pods. kubectl get service. kubectl get service account. kubectl get pv. Okay, same command. Only the object name will change. First deployment. What is deployment? So to manage your pod, we create deployment, guys. So in master, so we'll create the deployment. Deployment, it's kind of configuration, you can say. It's a manager. With the help of deployment only, you are managing your pod. So it keep on uh, like uh, get the information about your pod. What is the status of pod? Where it is running? 
if something problem with the pod immediately it will create one more pod guys so if it del until this deployment is there the pod will be available kubectl create deployment deployment name din koka pair ivali edo okati your wish okay na example i am giving as dev1 deployment1 hyphen hyphen image equals to http this is how we will create the deployment okay now we don't create the container directly first we will create the deployment what is deployment uh, deployment is a uh, like response is responsible to create the pod to like manage the pod and it has the information about your container like which image i have to take those details available in the deployment it's like configuration okay now it has the information about your pod and your container and your image where it is running whether it is running or not if something goes wrong immediately it will recreate one more pod okay now so that is what deployment now next uh, how to expose the application in docker in single command we are doing this right but in kubernetes you have to Amara, create small doubt ah chapan tell me uh, deployment ante asli ayoka server configuration ente server ka server configuration ankochu meeru okay na adoka object is server kaadu deployment is not a server but pod ante oka server laaga logically logical virtual machine but deployment is a configuration pod create cheyadaniki kavalsina configuration ikkada untadi deployment lo it's not a server it's a just a configuration about your image about your pod and all okay na server kaadu adi idi master kada we have master right we have master server master lo deployment create chestam we in master only we create all the resource ikkada nunde manam manage chestam ikkada worker in worker node you will get those resources here deployment is configuration it's not a server it's it has the information about your pod where it is running okay na that's it yeah yeah now your pod is running in worker kernel as i told in docker we have some challenges if one pod if your docker host down you until the docker host is up and running your container is down so your application is down but here as i told guys for the same deployment will create the replicas we maintain replicas for high availability what is mean by replica uh, means so replica is nothing but it's a duplicate same data same website here whatever the application is running whatever the purpose you are running this replica right same here also you have okay now your deployment for the single deployment you can create any number of replicas based on your load nikku enta load undi server ki application ki based on that you will create the replicas why replicas required multiple advantages if example if this worker not down still my replica is available my application is available customer can access this replica this application and this also will come to this guys ee worker node down aithe idi down avadam kaadu immediately it will come to here this replica also will have additional space always okay na you will have additional worker nodes based on your criticality okay na so number of 3 4 5 6 it's up to you okay so replica also also it's up to you multiple advantages why do i need replicas mean for high availability obviously now if even one worker not down until it is coming up okay now so other replicas will serve the request to the customers one request one thing and one more thing the second thing is 
example i want to update my application my i have one latest image here okay na so i have my, uh, one latest image here so i want to like update that i i have got one more http image okay na i got one more latest image so i want to use that simple i'll i'll uh, i have a mechanism called rolling update in kubernetes okay na command warden ankondi if i use rolling update strategy how many replicas you have example you have five replicas running okay na for your deployment for your application i will show you that don't worry in that case one by one i will update not all in one shot so at any point of time your application is running okay na first one i will uh, create new replica with latest version if once it is running i will stop this i will delete this so second one same thing first i will create a new replica with latest version if that is running i'll delete the old one like that rolling manner okokati update chestha so second challenge also overcome third challenge if something like other containers other pods consuming more still no problem so wherever i have the space it will go to that particular automatic uh, management you no need to do anything everything cluster will take care kubernetes will take care okay na uh, okay first let's create the deployment part go ahead uh, abinash show me your status yes sir yes sir amar for creating a uh, amar uh, deployment hmm. what are the prerequisites do we need pod or like just image name image name unte adhe create chestadi pod ni you no need to create a pod deployment create chesthe automatic a pod create avutadi okay uh, can you please log into your cops master go to instances running click on instances so log into your cops master i hope others also you created the putty app sorry cops application is it done guys chesara cops application installation chesara how many completed what about kubeadm that also for practice purpose kubeadm cops method you try eks also in aws sir i give it to you control six sir to do hyphen i sorry which one let me control it now okay okay so so let me check the cube ctl cube ctl get nodes yeah so i have everything ready actually guys as i told what is cops master it's an additional server okay na so with kubernetes operations cops is nothing but okay so actual kubernetes master is separate now so can you please open a paint session once so this is cops master okay this is your kubernetes master these are your worker nodes so cops master created this master and worker nodes and actually my kubernetes running here not here ikkada em ledu in cops master i don't have kubernetes but only the thing is i'm accessing this master without logging nen ikkada login avalsina pan ledu i no need to log into master but your wish you can do it from here also you can do it from here also you you can manage your cluster from cops master or else this uh, kubernetes master so can you please open the document which i which we used uh, 
last uh, class you used the suggestions right do you have those suggestions suggestions unnaya last uh, while installing you got few suggestions the installation part Hmm. Come down. Hmm. Good. Yeah. Come down. Here it is. Okay. This is how you can connect to master server. Can you please copy this. Yeah, enter. Say yes. See, I'm connecting to Kubernetes master now. It's up to you guys. You can do it from, um, as I told, Cops master. As I told, from Kubernetes master also. You can manage your cluster. See, I'm inside Kubernetes master now. I mean, easy to. So sudo space icon. My record is not as coach. Kubectl get nodes. See same concept. Even from Kubernetes master also I can manage the things. It's up to you. So I'm managing from master that cops master only. You no need to log into Kubernetes master every time. Okay na? Kubectl get nodes so as i told kubectl how to check the deployments deployments nothing is there so kubectl get pods nothing is there let me create the deployment kubectl create deployment deployment name so this name it's it depends on your uh, requirement any name you can give okay na? so maybe if it is development uh, one application uh, so that name dev like uh, whatsapp something like that okay whatever it may be maybe the service name that particular uh, purpose which which functionality that name you can give Next image equals to TTPD. Okay, now that image name. Now kubectl get deployments. See, full for full details, you can use hyphen more wide for any resource. I mean which name, which image you used, also it will show you okay so kubectl get deployments as i told deployment is a configuration it has the details about your image your pod your container how many replicas it has see one by one means uh like how many replicas by default it will create only one and a one okay pod create out of the pod local container inside your pod the container will be there by default so if required you can change that uh, replicas first of all kubectl get pods hyphen o wide see my pod is running in one of the worker node this is pod name this is one by one means how many containers running inside my pod again one one only one run now to me running no restart 64 seconds this is pod ip address pod key container same ip of study guys 
పాడ్ ఈజ్ ఎ లాజికల్ వర్చువల్ మిషన్ దాని లోపల కంటైనర్ ఉంటది ఓకేనా యా సో దిస్ ఈజ్ యువర్ పాడ్ ఐపి సో ఇన్ రిటర్న్ కంటైనర్ ఐపి ఆల్సో సేమ్ నౌ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఐపి ఇన్ దిస్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ మై పాడ్ ఈజ్ రన్నింగ్ మీకు కనపడదు పాడు కనపడదు అక్కడికి వెళ్తే guys if you lo if you see if you log into your worker node you cannot see the pod guys mic pod kanpadadu container e kanpistadi that is the reason i am saying pod is a logical machine you can uh, see it to this just a minute you can log into worker nodes same command let's admin at the rate my my worker node ip 172.20.49.195 i think public ip yeah to give yeah public ip can you get the public ip of this worker node it's 195 just a minute just a minute i'll show you how to check that ఓకే సో దిస్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ వన్ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ రైట్ సో ఏ సర్వర్ కొంది ఫర్ విచ్ సర్వర్ దిస్ ఐపి అడ్రస్ ఈస్ దేర్ నో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ వన్ నైంటీ టూ నాట్ దిస్ వన్ యా సో దిస్ ఈజ్ యువర్ ఐపి అడ్రస్ ఫర్ ప్రైవేట్ ఐపి ఈస్ ఫర్ ఇంటర్నల్ ఒక సర్వర్ నుండి ఇంకో సర్వర్ కోసం okay but uh, here we use public so i'm connecting to that worker node akka check cheyadam pod unda ani i'm in my worker node now okay na ikka docker commands e work avutai malli guys here you can see docker commands only leave it about these containers as of now okay now we'll talk about that later those are kubernetes related so the so see this is your pod container pod can padu ikkada you cannot run uh, again these commands kubectl get pods get deployment avanne em work avu docker guys kubernetes anedi oka layer add chestadu ante tappa again if you log into worker nodes all your docker related docker commands e work avutai దగ్గర కంటైనరే ఉంటది పాడ్ ఉండదు పాడ్ ఈస్ జస్ట్ ఎ లాజికల్ మిషన్ లాజికల్ గా యాడ్ చేస్తుంది మాస్టర్ నుంచి చూస్తే మాత్రం ఇక్కడ పాడ్ ఉంది అని చెప్తుంది ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఫ్రమ్ మాస్టర్ అండ్ మాస్టర్ ఫ్రమ్ సైడ్ మాస్టర్ నుండి వర్కర్ నోడ్ లో చూస్తే ఇక్కడ పాడ్ ఉంది అని చెప్తుంది ఇఫ్ ఐ సీ ఫ్రమ్ మాస్టర్ బట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ లాగ్ ఇన్ టు వర్కర్ నోడ్ నథింగ్ నో పాడ్ సో అంటే లాజికల్ గా ఉండదు ఫిజికల్ గా ఎగ్జిస్ట్ లేదు ఫిజికలీ ఇట్ ఈస్ డస్ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ దట్ పాడ్ ఓన్లీ కంటైనర్ ఈజ్ బట్ లాజికలీ పాడ్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ పాడ్ లోపల కంటైనర్ ఉంటది పాడ్ ఈజ్ ఎ లాజికల్ వర్చువల్ మిషన్ అందుకనే లాజికల్ అంటున్నా నేను వర్చువల్ మిషన్ అనట్లేదు దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ ఐఎమ్ కాలింగ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఏ లాజికల్ వర్చువల్ మిషన్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ యాక్చువల్లీ బట్ లాజికలీ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ inside that my container exist okay na so see here make your comments work of oh, kubernetes sorry. command yes sorry to interrupt yes actually the uh, a pod logical container a large sorry logical virtual machine a logical hmm. virtual machine lopala ok container untadi container ante for example ini ante chikka so ala ipo kani dani bayita your voice is breaking actually something disturbance va undi ippudu ippudu okay na ha ippudu better actually pod anedi oka logical container sorry logical machine virtual machine logical virtual machine aa logical virtual machine lo oka container untadi yes dani baita nodes untunnai dani baita gaadu idi logic ikkada so if you see this is worker node okay na worker node lopala pod create avutadi pod lopala container create avutadi 
ఇది నువ్వు చెప్పాల్సిన పద్ధతి దాని బయట నోడ్ ఉంటుంది నోడ్ లోపల పాడ్ ఉంటుంది పాడ్స్ ఎక్కడ క్రియేట్ అవుతాయి వర్కర్ నోడ్ లో క్రియేట్ అవుతాయి సో నోడ్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీరు చెప్పేది మన కాప్స్ అనేది మన నోడ్ అలా నో 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 కాప్స్ ఈజ్ అగైన్ వన్ వన్ ఈసీ టూ ఇన్స్టెంట్ క్యూబర్నెటీస్ మాస్టర్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఈసీ టూ ఇన్స్టెంట్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఈజ్ వన్ మోర్ ఈసీ టూ ఇన్స్టెంట్స్ డాకర్ హోస్ట్ అనుకోవచ్చు ఇది నువ్వు డాకర్ లో మనం డాకర్ హోస్ట్ అంటాం కదా ఇక్కడ వర్కర్ నోడ్ అంటాం ఇన్ డాకర్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఏ డాకర్ హోస్ట్ రైట్ ఇన్ క్యూబర్నెటీస్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఏ వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ పాడ్ విల్ బి దేర్ అండ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ పాడ్ కంటైనర్ విల్ బి దేర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓకే యా సి ఇక్కడ నాకు పాడ్ కనపడదు ఐ డోంట్ సి ఐ కాన్ సి పాడ్ హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ అ లాజికల్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ when you see from master it will be there okay let's go to bag then how to log into the pod so guys we manage everything from master only you no need to connect to worker node to manage your pods kubectl get pods so this is shortcut and ipon wo wide is general for any option we have this option it will show you it to check in which worker node it is running what is the ip address of the pod this is the command ipon oi okay now how to log into the container or pod from master so guys here can you go to worker node one port number i have to open it's just a, uh, to connect from మాస్టర్ నోడ్ ఎక్కడ నుండి అయినా నీ మాస్టర్ నుండి కానీ కాప్స్ నుంచి కానీ కనెక్ట్ అవ్వాలంటే క్లిక్ ఆన్ సెక్యూరిటీ గ్రూప్ ఇన్ వర్కర్ నోట్స్ యూ హౌ టు ఓపెన్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ టు ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ట్ టెన్ థౌజండ్ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఓపెన్ యువర్ పుట్టి సెషన్ సో గైస్ now i am connecting to my pod pod ki connect aithe containers connect ainatte so if i connect to pod it does, it's nothing but you connected to container okay na you no need to log into container separately cube ctl like same docker command only guys same docker related right this is the command guys to connect to your pod see i'm inside my pod now that is nothing but you are inside the container no pod lo connect out the container connect ainatte now you can do anything inside this normally if you create a container docker container with http image how it looks like now if you log into the pod same because పాడ్ కి కనెక్ట్ అయితే కంటైనర్ కనెక్ట్ అయినట్టే కంటైనర్ లోపల ఉన్నట్టే ఇప్పుడు నువ్వు సో అదే టోల్డ్ పాడ్ ఈస్ ఎ లాజికల్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఓకేనా ఇట్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్ లేయర్ బికాస్ డైరెక్ట్ డాకర్ కంటైనర్స్ నాట్ సపోర్టింగ్ ద హై అవైలబిలిటీ లైక్ రెప్లికాస్ రైట్ లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్సర్ ఆటో స్కేలింగ్ దోస్ ఆర్ నాట్ సపోర్టెడ్ బై కంటైనర్ దట్స్ వేర్ సూపర్ నెట్ ఇస్ యాడెడ్ దీస్ లేయర్స్ పాడ్ okay na now you can do whatever you need so this is a pod so guys any questions about uh, deployment and pod as of now deployment pod container and that remain na so we don't create container directly we will create a deployment so deployment is nothing but a configuration and it's create so now see cube ctl So 
So if I delete a pod, again it will come back. How to delete any resource kubectl? Delete. So what you want to delete? I want to delete a pod. Pod, pod name. See, I'm deleting a pod. Again it will come back. Pod local on Malik a container in so pod delete just a pod container on the delete it. If you delete a pod, pod container both will be deleted. Okay, now again one more pod with new container gets created. See new new pod until your deployment is there. The related replicas or pods will be available. Guys, me deployment to stay deployment to ne both avi. It comes with deployment, goes with deployment only. If you even if you delete your pods, it will come back. Guys, even if you delete a pod, it comes back. It will come back. Okay now. So just a minute. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Yeah, sorry, bro. I'm back. Okay, see, until your deployment is there, your pod will be there. Your container will be there. My container delete. So if you log into worker node and there, if you delete your container also, it will come back again, guys. Okay, now, so your deployment always uh, responsible for your pod and container. Okay, now, how to expose the application? How to expose the application now in okay first let me create the replicas as i told compulsory will have the replicas guys for high availability so one pod uh, gets down also other pod will be there okay there could be many reasons maybe worker node down maybe in worker node maybe there is no enough space enough ram enough storage Okay, now so like many reasons, so always will maintain the replicas for the uh, replacement scale deployment. My deployment name, what is my deployment name? This one for this only, I'm creating the replicas. Three or four are your wish. Already one is there. How many replicas now running, guys? Any replicas? 
how many replicas i have for this deployment one so now i need three so two more will be created now two more pods will be there now kubectl will get deployments first see three by three that means three replicas now three replicas are nothing but three pods see same deployment okay deployment ki mode replicas mode pods three pods i have now three each pod one container prati pod lo container untadi the intlo container untadi the intlo one container the intlo again here also one more container every pod has one container minimum in that container only your application is running now my application running in different parts now here this is your pod maybe one more replica also running here okay so total three containers three parts running so this is your deployment as i told deployment is just configuration for the same deployment three replicas and the same application run out in the same application running here in three replicas now how customer connect to this application a container connect to valipudu in if it is docker host guys if it is docker host my container running only one container running this is your laptop your customer laptop oh sorry here only container right no pod yeah okay so direct uh, only one container and direct uh, to this worker node only this work this docker host ip colon the docker host port number but here i have two docker host guys worker node and kubernetes launch but, but have a docker host levy those are docker host only but in kubernetes point of view we call them like worker nodes but me cut them out and key docker host and to put i'm calling as a docker host just for your understanding purpose now i have two docker host two worker nodes in both the worker node or in both the docker host i have the container i have the application then to which container i have to connect to which worker node i have to connect now okay now so customer key round worker node round to i can we give two ip address to my customer guys so first let me show one method guys for that purpose actually i have to create a service to expose the application in dark in kubernetes we use service service use yes koni man application expose chestam okay na what is service guys service is nothing but again it's a logical virtual machine service em chestadante if i create a service it creates one more virtual machine logical again not physical it supports to expose the application to the external world which is running in your pod okay now let me create a i know this is not an easy thing you have to watch the video again and again okay na to make it and uh, even you have to do r and d guys your support is required here make anta easy kaadu kubernetes after the class again go to google go, go watch my google drive there are so many documents available whatever we are discussing everything available in google drive in my google drive tasks are there interview questions are there everything you have to by heart you have to go through 
okay so i'm creating service now kubectl exposed deployment my deployment name iphone iphone type equals to there are three types again in service guys what is service first of all service is a uh, with the help of service we can expose our application to the external world external world ki application expose cheyadaniki service vaadtu so there are three types of services okay na so one is cluster ip service lo three types unnai service cluster ip node port load balancer okay now three types of services are there by using these three i can expose the application what is cluster ip means within the cluster example i have microservices running maybe my i have database okay now so actually database i don't need from outside so example this is my website okay i have one deployment for my website my like website so customer will connect to application the website application okay now assume that i have one one more database deployment for that also i have replicas pod with uh, along with the container okay na so guys database is very very secured thing no one should connect to database deployment directly if you din kausar ma baiti ki example guys you have youtube youtube is an application or database guys YouTube one is application or database? Sir? Application. It's an application. It's not a database. Guys, yeah. database and AD, it's a like a, again one of the application which maintains your data. Videos are only database loan, guys, not in application. Application only provides the front end that uh, one uh, uh, parts on together. So the design only that provides the functionality application always provide the functionality that front end behavior group is a website open jayadam, numbers click jayadam, search jayadam. So all these are part of your application so application need access from the outside but what about the database example for database i have one more deployment so for this deployment do we need access to the outside Byte kausar mai database byte nunchi access cheyala. No, it should be accessible to only this application. So for this application, this database should be accessible. Yes or no? So while exposing the application in database, I'm, I mean the database to the uh, while while exposing the database, we'll use cluster IP, not other types. Edite services ki internal access kawalo. Other deployment, okay, deployment ki inko deployment ki access kawalan kondi. If at all. So I want to expose the application internally. As I told, database access is required only to this application. I don't need a outside access, this database. So while exposing the database, I'll use cluster IP. Okay, now only to which server or to which deployment we need access from the outside for those we use node port or load balancer so cluster ip is only for internal uh, port guys internal within your kubernetes cluster okay now other deployments one is for application one is for deployment uh, sorry database for this database i don't need access from outside like internally database e application so whenever example this is your YouTube website. Okay, now, now I searched uh, something Bahubali movie. First, it will connect to this application. From this application, it will talk to database. So for that, I need access, right? 
అప్లికేషన్ నుంచి డేటాబేస్ యాక్సెస్ ఉండాలి కదా సో అలా ఉండాలి అంటే సో టు మేక్ దట్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ఓపెన్ ద డేటాబేస్ ద కమ్యూనికేషన్ క్లస్టర్ ఐపి సర్వీస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు క్రియేట్ ఫర్ డేటాబేస్ బట్ ఫర్ దిస్ అప్లికేషన్ ఐ నీడ్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ ఆర్ లోడ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్స్ గో విత్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ ఐ విల్ షో యూ నోట్ పోర్ట్ so guys in general in docker how many ports exist any ports what them docker lo manam general ga in general in docker how many ports we are use, we exist or we are using guys docker lo any ports vaadutunnam two ports like uh, i mean one more. is docker host port one more is container port right so here also what is this port ఈ పోర్ట్ నేమంటాం దీన్ని ఏమంటున్నాం వాట్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ వర్కర్ నోట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ పోర్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ పోర్ట్ దెన్ వర్కర్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ ఓకేనా అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ టార్గెట్ పోర్ట్ ఈ కంటైనర్ పాడ్ పోర్ట్స్ ఉన్నాయి కదా వాటిని టార్గెట్ పోర్ట్స్ అంటాం ఓకేనా so here we are calling as container port right in docker in kubernetes we call it as target ports so this is worker node port this is target port so two ports and one more port also there what you are creating now in create chestunnaru service service anedi kuda oka port untadi so what it happen when i create a service one more virtual machine gets created in in all the worker nodes service ane oka virtual machine create avutadi okay na one more virtual machine it has a, it also has one port that is called as port see guys motha mode ports exist untai worker no in kubernetes in kubernetes three ports exist one is worker node port one more is target port one more is port port is nothing but your service port id edani ivochu anything you can give what is target port guys as i told what is target port your your pod port it is it should be your application port me a application run avutha a port number ivali okay so the worker node port you can give or you no need to give automatically it will get what happened restart the session so guys in kubernetes three ports involved here in docker only two ports but in kubernetes three ports pod port means target port service port is nothing but port worker node port so three ports involved run this command this command so i'm creating node port type now enter wait wait small and kutta make it small wait wait ah oh, okay yeah port also small pp 
నెక్స్ట్ పి టార్గెట్ పోర్ట్ లో పి ఉంది కదా దట్ ఆల్సో స్మాల్ మేక్ ఇట్ స్మాల్ నెక్స్ట్ సి నోట్ పోర్ట్ సర్వీస్ ఈస్ క్రియేటెడ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ మీన్స్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఐపీతో కనెక్ట్ అవుతాం జనరలీ వీ డోంట్ యూజ్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ ఆల్సో నోట్ పోర్ట్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఇంటర్నల్ పర్పస్ ఇంటర్నల్ మీన్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మై ఐఎమ్ రన్నింగ్ జెన్కిన్స్ సో గైజ్ జెన్కిన్స్ కస్టమర్స్ కోసమా మన ఇంటర్నల్ పర్పసా జెన్కిన్స్ ఈస్ ఫర్ అడ్మిన్ డెవాప్స్ పర్పస్ not for outside customers ka avasaram led adi jenkins is devops admin tool admin vaadtad adi okay na so that is internal application i know everything about my kubernetes cluster how many worker nodes i have in which worker node i have my container my pod everything i know so i can go with node port but this is not for customers కస్టమర్స్ కి వెళ్తే దీంతో వెళ్ళాం వై బికాస్ హియర్ యూ షుడ్ నో ద వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఐపీస్ ఇఫ్ యూ క్రియేట్ నోట్ పోర్ట్ టైప్ ఒకవేళ నోట్ పోర్ట్ టైప్ తో క్రియేట్ చేస్తే సర్వీస్ ని యూ షుడ్ నో ద వర్కర్ నోడ్ ఐపీస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఫైవ్ వర్కర్ నోడ్స్ ఫైవ్ వర్కర్ నోడ్స్ ఐపీ యూ షుడ్ నో దట్ బికాస్ వీ డోంట్ నో హియర్ ఇన్ విచ్ వర్కర్ నోడ్ మై కంటైనర్ అన్ని రైట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ so worker node ip colon worker node port number let me open let me get the worker node port number kubectl get service so this is my worker node actually guys i haven't given the worker node ip ichana ikra port number ichana worker node port number so automatically it will create 30000 to 32700 in between your uh, port number will be created automatically okay na so copy this actually this port number you have to open can you go to your worker node Sec in security group open this port number 32163 so to connect with your application you should know the worker node ip if you have five worker nodes in five worker node ip you should know that but do we provide it to the customers customers kala ivvagalama na website ki id ip address livach customer ki no we should not give so node port we don't give it uh, we use it okay now this is interview question guys what is the difference between node port and load balancer if i go with node port service i should know the like number of worker nodes and each worker node ip address ante worker node ip tone nen connect cheyagalta colon 31 whatever you open 32169 check it 163 ah 163 so now i'm connecting to one of the worker node if there if i have my container my pod my application will work can you go to other worker node also there also i can access because i have replicas right uh, copy this also no already the, the same security group you no need to open again we created a worker nodes in single shot right same security group untadi if you open one security group for worker node it will be available for other worker node also uh, enter see a worker node lo na pods unte a replicas unte akada na see both are different separate worker nodes this is one worker node this is one more worker node both are separate worker nodes 
both have uh, i have the pods my have replica so rendu itla connect avochu but worker node ips undal ni daggara you should have the worker node ips if you open with node port type if you create the service with node port the problem is you should have the worker node ips you will connect to the application by using the worker node ip ante ee worker node ip tho connect avuthe ee container ee so this pod will be connected if i connect with this worker node i can connect with one of the replica adi custom kubernetes chusukuntadi a worker node ki ella a pod ki ellalo if one pod one worker node has multiple pods so your uh, so in, in inbuilt uh, load balancer untadi neeku ikkada so your cluster will connect to one of the pods okay so that is what worker uh, node port type the next one is load balancer generally we go with load balancer only not with the uh, node port also we don't same command just load balancer type equals to oh sir we have to delete the existing first kubectl delete service service name my service name is def1 only right yeah so now you will get a common url ipudu inko common url ostadi meeku so we'll discuss about this load balancer service type in tomorrow class guys deen gurinchi repat class lo maatladukundam so i will i need a few things to discuss before proceeding this okay so we'll talk about this and i will explain one more time about deployment whatever i did today so i will recall it one more time so that you can understand better way. but guys again go through with google one more time prati whatever we discuss in, in class you should go through again in google one more time okay so do r and d research um, uh, uh, sorry one doubt here each pod contains only one container or multiple containers we can do in that uh, single pod. multiple also you can we'll discuss about that later don't uh, okay. club multiple things in one shot okay okay uh, that's not the application okate kada so okate container untadi prati pod okay. every pod has only one container as of now okay okay fine. but you Thank can you. have one more contain multiple containers also so we'll talk about that later don't club that matter here first as of now try to understand deployment worker node mm -hmm. pod container service types these are the things you should understand okay got it thank you yeah okay then guys so please do practice more okay yeah okay then guys <coughs> okay so thank you. thank you thank you sir thank you